And now with temperatures soaring today, some school districts were forced to cancel classes for all or part of the day. That's right. And for DPSCD students and parents, the high heat has the district making the call for an early dismissal again tomorrow. As we take a live look at the skyline, it's close to 90 degrees right now, and many of the schools just don't have enough air conditioning. Let's get out to Will Jones. Uh, Will, this is a really frustrating issue for parents and an expensive issue if the district wants to fix it. Yes, it is, Kimberly and DeMond. In some school buildings today, temperatures were over 90 degrees. Imagine learning in that environment. And right now, only 20% of buildings in Detroit Public Schools has air conditioning. The school day ending just before noon at Charles Wright Academy of Arts and Science, impacting Renee Couch's work day. I had to leave work, come pick her up, drop her off at the sitters, and get back to work. It's all due to the heat. DPSCD shortening the school day by three hours at all schools, a major inconvenience for working parents, some relying on relatives to help with pickup and child care. I'm a grandfather, I'm retired, but basically I, I'm helping with my grandkids because they need help because they, they have to work. The issue, lack of or inadequate air conditioning. I grew up in Detroit, we didn't have air conditioning, but it is time for them to fix something. It's 2023, this is just terrible. Uh, I do believe other school systems have air conditioning and our kids deserve it as well. Detroit students were not the only ones impacted by the heat. On the first day of a new school year, Pontiac Public School students had a half day. Southfield Public Schools didn't have classes at all. All three districts say they're currently upgrading their facilities to be able to keep students in school on hot days. I'm a 60s baby. We don't have air conditioning in my school and they still don't have air conditioning. Kimberly, as you mentioned, it is not an easy or cheap problem to fix. And district officials say over the next five years, they're hoping that the majority of their schools here in Detroit will have air conditioning. We are live. Will Jones, Local 4. As you said, though, not an, an easy fix because a lot of the buildings are really old and it takes a lot to go in there and, you know, work the duct work and everything. Will, we appreciate your report and uh, really nice for those families that have grandparents who could help to pick up those babies. We appreciate it, Will.